There are five main categories of people who are infected with COVID-19. 1. Asymptomatic or presymptomatic. Such people have no symptoms at all. And most commonly they don't know if they are infected by COVID-19. How much are such a population it is unclear. But it is thought, there is about 40% people of asymptomatic. Presymptomatic are patients who are already diagnosed with COVID-19 but they don't have symptoms yet. It means they may develop symptoms in the future. 2. Mild illness, the patient has symptoms but has not shortness of breath, dyspnea, or abnormal chest imaging. Most common symptom is a fever, almost 80-90% to of cases. 38 degrees Celsius and more. Cough is common, 70% dry cough but productive cough also possible. Fatigue almost 70% of cases. Sore throat, malaise, headache, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of taste and smell. 3. Moderate illness, individuals who show evidence of lower respiratory disease during clinical assessment or imaging, and who have the saturation of oxygen, SPO2, greater than or equal to 94% on room air at sea level. Dyspnea and shortness of breath is presented. 4. Severe illness, individuals who have SPO2 less than 94%, Dyspnea and shortness of breath is presented. 5. Critical individuals who have respiratory failure, septic shock, and or multiple organ dysfunction. Patients with certain underlying comorbidities are at a higher risk of progression to severe COVID-19. Some of these comorbidities include being 65 years or older. Having cardiovascular disease. Chronic lung disease, diabetes. Cancer. Obesity. Or chronic kidney disease and is a recipient of immunosuppressive therapy. Healthcare providers should monitor such patients closely until clinical recovery is achieved. Overweight and obesity also represents another risk factors for COVID.